Welcome back, guys. We are back out on the pontoon, cruising around the canals of Cape Coral. And today we're going to check out Bimini Basin. We have never been up that way before. And uh, should be pretty interesting. There's still a lot of damage to houses and property around here due to the storm. So there's going to be quite a lot of depressing things to see. But we'd like to check out the basin to see how uh, the anchorage is going and um, if there's any boats up there and what the depths are leading up to there. So stick around. All right, we're right at the entrance to the canal leading up to Bimini Bay, right from the open waters on the Caloosahatchee. And we got at least 10 feet of water right here at the entrance. Lots of roof repairs going on around here. We're about two or three canals in from the inlet, and we still have plenty of water, 10 feet. Once you head up the canal a little bit, you need to bear to the right, it sort of bends around to starboard to stay on the uh, canal out to Pimney Basin. This is why he's called Matey, our first mate. Nope, nobody driving. On autopilot. Bimini Basin is an anchorage that's literally right in the heart of Cape Coral, right in the city center pretty much, right by Cape Coral Parkway. The main canal here is quite wide in a lot of areas, very easy to navigate through here, even with a lot of boats. All right, we are entering Bimini Basin and we still have over nine feet of water as we open up here into the, uh, the lake see quite a few boats anchored. Hi. Admiral we've Bridget never, with us, enjoying the sun. We've never been in here before? No, we've never been in here. That was the beach that we were on. We walked along that beach right over there. So even this far in, we had boats blowing ashore. Quite a few were blown ashore here over in Bimini Basin Park. Right here on the right is Freedom Park or Three Freedoms Park or something like that. It has a little sandy area that you can sit set chairs up, a couple barbecues and pavilions. So along the side of Freedom Park, there's a couple concrete docks and there are boats tied up to them, but we walked along there and it says no docking allowed. Even though I see quite a few dinghies tied up at the end, you could probably pull up there with a dinghy tie up and right across the street is an ice cream place across the park and uh, some stores and restaurants and shops across the street right there. That's Cape Coral Parkway. Right over here where the cars are going over the bridge. So still nine feet of water here, right at this inlet. What's that noise? There's a bunch of unused waterfront land. Just saying it would be nice if they 
utilize this as public access. Maybe throw up a couple floating docks that you can pull your boat up to. It'd be nice to walk across and patronage the local businesses. But most cities don't think about boaters too often. All right, so we zigzagged all in and around these anchored sailboats in the harbor here and still plenty of water all around here. So if you have a larger boat, you could easily get in here, even if you draft six, seven, eight feet. You could come in here, drop anchor, a nice protected anchorage. Just don't get too close to the shore, that's all. Although we got pretty close and it was still deep. Bridget said when we drove close to this sailboat right here, she said an alarm went off. So we're gonna check that out as we go by it again. I guess not. You can see the water gets shallow. Pretty much see the bottom. Not too bad. Pretty clear. So this canal that shoots off Bimini Basin, we had tried to navigate all the way through this canal from the other side. If you go straight down this canal, I'll show it on a map. It actually, uh, it looks like it, you go under a bridge if you look at it on a map, but um, there is no bridge there. It's just a road and uh, you can't get the boat through it, but it's a little deceiving. We came in from the other side, from the Clusahatchee side. All right, so it's a nice day. We're gonna drop anchor at Bimini Basin. Enjoy the sun a little bit. Relax. Captain Tom is gonna put the anchor out. We're gonna just hang out and have some lunch. Mate's going to help him. Can be falling in the water? Yeah, I don't think you would do that. Like no, them. and you're a very good captain. How'd he do, matey? Our first mate. Did he do good? And that's that's it. We'll see if we hold. I'm sure we will. Still drifting. Oh. I can almost see the anchor go, all, the line go all the way down. Oh, it just, I think it just caught. That is certainly annoying if that is not a real bird making that noise. I don't know if you heard that. All right, I think the anchor is set. And we'll just chill out here and have lunch. Nice place to hang out and chill. All right. Everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll take you along on the next adventures of After Hours. <laughs> See you next time.